We added a lot of code in the last video. Now we're going to walk through it in four chunks. In this first chunk, we see we have a couple use declarations. The first one, we're using something from the standard library called env or env. If you hover over, you'll see exactly what it is. Basically, we need this so that we can access an environment variable, which is where we'll store our Discord auth token. The next is Serenity, which is one of our dependencies. So you'll notice that we're importing a few things here. So we'll start from the bottom, actually. Prelude is basically the, the basic building blocks that you need to use Serenity. Then we've got Model, uh, and we're importing Message from Channel and Ready from Gateway. Uh, and, and you'll see how we're using these later. Basically, these are the, the shapes or the types for things that we're going to be interacting with from the uh, Discord API. And then the last is async trait, uh, which we're going to be using because uh, we're going to be using some async features. So that's the first chunk. The second chunk we'll look at is our two const statements. The first is this help message. And so this help message, it's, it's just a string and it's static, uh, it doesn't change, which is why we're using const, it's a constant. And this is the message that our Discord bot is going to be re responding with, it's the help message. Next, we have the help command. And this is the command that will trigger the bot to respond with our above message. And this doesn't change, hence why we've made it a const as well. And in this case, it's exclamation point help. But you, you're welcome to change that. The third block that we're going to look at is this part right here where we have struct that we're declaring called handler. And then we're implementing event handler for handler. So let's take a look at this. So this handler is the thing that's handling our message. And so you'll see we have an asynchronous function here called message, which the first parameter is self. The second is CTX, short for context. And the third is MSG for message. So there's three parameters. So what we do is we look at the message content and we say, does it equal the help command that we defined earlier, right? So does the content of the message match exclamation point help. If it does, then we get here. And what we do is we get that channel ID for where that message was sent. And then we call say, which is where we, we make an HTTP call. And we say or send our help message. Uh, and then you know, we call await because this is all asynchronous. And so we want to make sure that it finishes. And if it doesn't, you know, we say, uh, we, we basically log error sending message, and then we log why there was an error. So that's our message function. The other function inside of this handler is ready. And so there's three parameters here, self, context, and ready. Uh, and we're really just using ready. Because what we say here is, this function gets called um, to basically let us know that our handler is listening, it's ready. Um, and so what it does is it will print the username of our bot and say, for example, help bot is connected. So that's the third chunk. Now let's take a look at the final chunk. So we've got our, our macro here, the Tokyo main, which is saying, hey, this is, um, where our main function is, and this is an R async program or application. Uh, so remember main gets called when you run the executable. So we have a few things here. So our first let statement is the token. And remember we're using env from the standard library and then var, right, which fetches the environment variable key from the current process. In this case, we're looking for an envir environment variable called discord token. And if it fails, uh, we just say, hey, we expected a token in the environment. 
The next is the client, which this is what we're, we're getting from Serenity. We're creating a new, basically, Discord client, passing in the token uh, for the event handler. We're passing in our handler, which we defined earlier. Uh, and then we just call await because we want that to run and finish. And then, and then if there's an error, we just say, hey, there's an error creating the client. And then finally, once the, the client is created successfully, we move on to this block. And we call client.start and just await that. And if there's an error, we say client error and we pass in Y, as in the error message that happened. So that's it. Those are the four chunks that make up the logic for our application. Let's move on to the next step.